Hematohydrosis is an extremely rare condition that literally means sweating blood. Though it's been described in historical texts for centuries, only a handful of cases have been documented in modern medicine. The exact cause isn't fully understood, but the most widely accepted theory involves an extreme activation of the sympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for the body's fight-or-flight response. Under severe physical or emotional stress, small blood vessels called capillaries surrounding the sweat glands may constrict and then suddenly dilate. It's believed this abrupt change in pressure can cause the capillary walls to rupture. The leaked red blood cells then mix with sweat inside the gland ducts, oozing through the pores as bloody sweat. The hallmark of hematohydrosis is the sudden appearance of blood-tinged fluid on the skin. This most commonly occurs on the face, particularly the forehead, around the eyes, and the cheeks, but it can also affect other areas such as the trunk or limbs. The fluid may appear as droplets or as a thin film, resembling true sweat mixed with blood. Episodes are usually brief, lasting a few minutes to an hour and can occur spontaneously or in relation to intense stress. They may be preceded by headache, abdominal pain, or anxiety. Although the visual effect can be alarming, the amount of blood lost is generally minimal, and the condition is not considered to be life-threatening. Diagnosing hematohydrosis can be challenging due to its rarity. The key finding is the presence of bloody fluid on intact skin, with no visible breaks or trauma. Testing the fluid under a microscope usually confirms the presence of sweat mixed with red blood cells. Laboratory and imaging studies are primarily used to exclude other causes of bleeding. Basic blood tests can help rule out clotting disorders. A skin biopsy may be considered to examine the sweat glands and surrounding capillaries particularly if the diagnosis is uncertain. Still, hematohydrosis is largely considered a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning that other potential explanations must be ruled out first. These may include chromidrosis, a condition where sweat appears to be colored due to pigments found in sweat glands, and factitious disorder, where bleeding might be self-inflicted or manipulated. For treatment, medications like beta blockers can help decrease the overactive sympathetic response. In some cases, anti-anxiety medications or antidepressants may be added, especially when psychological stress is a clear trigger. Stress reduction techniques and counseling are also beneficial to manage any underlying stressors. It's important to remember that, even though it can be alarming, hematohydrosis is typically not dangerous. Recognizing it allows healthcare professionals to reduce unnecessary testing and focus on supportive care. All right, as a quick recap. Hematohydrosis is a rare disorder that involves sweating blood. The leading theory is that tiny capillaries around sweat glands rupture, which can be triggered by extreme stress. Treatment is individualized, but may include stress reduction techniques in medications like beta blockers and anti-anxiety medication if needed. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.